Who was these lawyers, Erst and Crotchet? 127 Wentworth Way, Melbourne. Well, one of them is right here, Miss Dan. Benjamin Crotchet, attorney at law. I hope that allays your very understandable fears. Oh, yes indeed, sir. I didn't mean to doubt you. Now, Miss Dunn, to business. I do have to tell you that the house is in Kiswick. Ah, oh, that's just over by Acton, isn't it, sir? No, Miss Dunn, it's in the north of England, near Carlisle. Oh, my good God. Uh, but before we confront that particular difficulty, there is one other stipulation that we should get out of the way. And whatever's that, sir? Well, it's of no importance as it doesn't apply in this case, thank heaven. It's just a stipulation that you should not be in domestic service. Oh. Whatever's the matter, Miss Dunn? I'm a cook, sir. Didn't they tell you at the house? Done. I had no idea. This is very unfortunate. Will I have to lose the money, sir? Uh, and the house, sir? Sounds ever so nice. Even if it is a bit out of the way. I believe I have it. We lawyers always know a thing or two. The way out here is for you to have left your employment before we met. But we have met, sir, I mean, and I haven't. Haven't you? No. Haven't you, Miss Dan? No. Oh, I see. Yes. You left your employment this morning, did you not, before we met? I remember now. I did, as a matter of fact. There. Now, it is imperative that you take position in the house by noon tomorrow. In order to do that, you must catch the night train from King's Cross. Oh! Go along, Miss Dunn. I can adventure ten pounds or so for the fare, and you can write a note to your employer at the station, which I shall personally deliver for you. And explain. And was everything as Mr. Crutchett had said?